you already know all things sports entertainment. So Shador Sanders, who currently has thrown for 2,591 yards this year, 21 touchdowns, six interceptions. It shows his longest completion was 69 yards this year. I think it might have been the Travis Hunter, honestly. Well, he has declared that he's finally going pro. He said it on uh, his brother's social media, Well Off Media. Um, and I think this is to no surprise. I mean, he's already a four-year player but i don't know maybe he could have played a fifth year because of the pandemic but he's already slated to be a top a top overall pick maybe even number one but he's definitely a a top five pick and it, it doesn't make no sense to stay i mean yeah you can get nil deals and all of that but shador could potentially make 20 million dollars a year next year between that and endorsements and you don't want to stay in college too long you got to get out especially you gotta strike when the iron is hot honestly because you mess around and sit in there they get to pick you apart he already i mean right now they're six and two and when they lost to nebraska everybody in the media said that the season might be a failure and um even myself i was like whoa this might be a bad year even though I had them winning six games but they have quietly got the six and two and they honestly if they wouldn't have lost to they all they barely lost to kansas state who's ranked number 18 in the country they could easily be seven and one right now and potentially being a playoff team. Coach Prime said he didn't he didn't need to take long. And um, also, before I forget, Travis Hunter has been a superstar as well. So he's been there for Shador in the in the in crunch times, right? Because he's one of the Heisman finalists. So you know, Coach Prime he's done an amazing job at coaching down there, getting the right coaching down there, and um, getting his players to believe in his program. Most people thought that just because he was at Jackson State, that was uh, that was kind of going to be a highlight. But no, he proving everybody wrong but but as far as Shador man it's time for him to go Travis is leaving there's no other reason for you to stay you a four-year player and go ahead and go to the league the only criticism I have of him and not just him but their whole thing is if you criticize them then they feel like you're an enemy but I feel like we can give praise when due and we can give criticism when due right and also I sometimes I feel like he hold the ball too long but it looks like he's starting to get better at it I'm just a little afraid that when he gets to the league, you hold the ball too long and uh, one of those Hall of Fame defensive linemen come at you, you know, you're not going to be able to stay too long in the league. Just like Justin Fields, even though Justin Fields is on the Steelers, it was so bad watching him take all that punishment when he played for the Bears that I had to, I, sometimes I would have to change the channel. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. I mean, hey. Chidora, I mean, he's going to probably be a Heisman finalist. I'm sure he's going to win some awards. I'm sure he's going to be an All-American. And um, to my knowledge, he'll be an All-American in the HBCU and at Colorado. And uh, it would have been crazy, though, right? If he would if he would have stayed four years, him and Travis would have stayed four years, three, four years at uh, Jackson State and say Travis won the Heisman or Shador would have won the Heisman. That would have been crazy. I don't think he's been a Heisman finalist since... Um, Steve McNair. Yeah, I think it was Steve McNair. Last time was a Heisman final. But yeah, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Uh, salute to Shador Sanders. You know, keep grinding. They 6-2. They might mess around and win. Easily, easily win nine games. But let me know what y'all think.